The Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association and the Florida Department of Agriculture present Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson. Also presented by Adina Springs South, Double Diamond Farm, Gulfstream Park, Jerry Parks Insurance Group, Ocala Breeders Sales Company, and Tampa Bay Downs. Hello everyone and welcome to Thoroughbred Week featuring a last to first winner of the Million Dollar Delta Downs Jackpot and a stakes record setting winner of the Delta Downs Princess Stakes. We begin with fillies and mares at Delta Downs in the Treasure Chest Stakes. Only four started with savings account the one to five favorite. Don Stevens picks up the call. Still up front, they're glued together. Brooks up booking on the outside. Vieja Luna to the inside. Savings account moves up to the attack three wide, and here comes Danza Trice with a quick turn of foot. Now she's coming after the leaders, three quarters of 112.72. They're coming for home. Can Vieja Luna fend them off? Savings account moves up alongside. Danza Trice gets a tap of the whip in the upper stretch. They straighten away. It's Vieja Luna still there gutting it out. Savings account to the outside. Danza Trice is not getting any closer. It's savings account if Laurent Giroux and savings account wins the treasure chest. Odds on favorite savings account runs by 20 to 1. Vieja Luna to score by a length and a quarter. Florent Giroux aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 139 and 2. Grade one placed at Santa Anita last season, the Tom Proctor trainee returned from a three and a half month layoff to take an allowance race going a mile at Parks Racing. The five year old mare by Medaglia Duro was bred in Kentucky by Dell Ridge Farm and was a $310,000 Keeneland September yearling. Savings account has earned $418,000 for Hyder Family Stable and Craig Burnick. To Woodbine for fillies and mares in the grade two best Arabian stakes. Midnight Miley, the 9-5 to five favorite, Robert Geller has the call. Midnight Miley making a little bit of a break on them, a length and a half, Southern Ring getting busy in second to make sure the leader's not got away, but they have, that pair's opened up, they're three in front, and then calling Rai Rai, joined by River Maid, on the outside of Mink Surprise goes Top Desail, and last is Lily's Goldie, they swing down towards the quarter in the best Arabia, Midnight Miley in front, doing it very well, a length in front of Southern Ring, River Maid, Top Desail's running on strongly, top of the lane, Midnight Miley attacked by Southern Ring, River Maid on the outside of them down the extreme outside lily's goldie top desal flattened out a bit river maids coming at them river maids southern ring and midnight miley and here down the outside mink surprise is flying home river maid in front mink surprise trying but river maids won it river maid gets up to take the photo by a neck over southern ring who has a nose on mink surprise gary boulanger aboard in 121 and four a stakes winner over the track in June, the Robert Tiller trainee was coming off a third place finish in the Grade 3 Ontario Fashion Stakes, won by Southern Ring. The Ontario bred four year old filly by Where's the Ring was a $57,000 Canadian sale year lane. River Maid has earned nearly $387,000 for the very dry stable. For all your insurance needs, a specialist at Jerry Parks Insurance Group is there to assist you with 40 years of exceptional coverage. Look for Jerry Parks, John Cassie, or Kelly Weeks at the sales. Back to Delta Downs for the Delta Mile. Rise up the four to five favorite. Once again, here's Don Stevens. Rise up just cruising on the lead, still owns a comfortable advantage. Nearly five lengths as moving up to the outside now is Penson, who's coming to the attack. To the inside, here is Great Minds. That one is followed out there by Fear the Cowboy, an excessive who's dropped back. On the far outside, that's Sammy Mandeville. Things are bunching up, and they're beginning to come for home. Rise Up is under a drive. He went three quarters, 112-17. Rise Up leads it by one length. Pinson is to the outside, racing in second. Great Minds is trying to come up the rail. He's in front, takes a wide path to the top of the lane. Then it's Fear the Cowboy, but Rise Up maintains the lead. It's Rise Up at the 16th pole. Great Minds is coming up the rail quickly. It is Great Minds. Rise Up. Late run by Pinson. On the outside, he's in front. Gets there in time. He's in front by Claiborne Farm Stallion Warfront. Gets his head in front of Great Minds, who noses out Pinson for place. Robbie Alborado, the winning rider in 138 and 3. He's in front, making his second start for Troy Williams and trainer Keith Bourgeois, who claimed the Delta Mile winner for $62,500 at Churchill Downs in September. He's in front, checked in third in his first start for his new connections at Keeneland. The Kentucky bred five year old horse began his career racing for his breeder, Frank Jones. 
He's in front, has earned $428,000. Access Thoroughbred Week replays every Saturday on Thoroughbred Daily News at the TDN.com. To Laurel Park for the Grade 3 Frank J. DeFrancis Memorial Dash. XY Jet, the 1 to 5 favorite. Dave Rodman has the call. Off of the Frank J. DeFrancis Memorial Dash. Sharp start there for XY Jet, the favorite. Ivan falling off a lot to second. Then it's Pomeroy's package taking third position. Sunny Inspired pushed along at the rail, taking fourth spot as XY Jet is cleared off by a length and a half. Rocking on by to the back with final prospect, the final runner, and seven lengths from XY Jet is over to the rail and has got the lead now. It's XY Jet heading past the half mile pole, three quarters of a length from Ivan falling off a lot in a 22 and one opening quarter mile. Three back Pomeroy's package rocking on by Sunny inspired and final prospect. Three furlongs in the wire in the Frank J. DeFrancis Memorial Dash. And it is XY Jet with a narrow lead just ahead in front. Ivan falling off a lot, testing the issue every step of the way from the outside as they reach the quarter pole. Three back and rocking on buys, followed by Pomeroy's package. Half in 45 and three-fifths of a second. And here's Ivan falling off a lot and Calvin Burrell. And they're moving away from XY Jet, opening up about three lengths with a furlong left to go. Then rocking on by in third. I've been falling off a lot. He'll win the Frank J. DeFrancis Memorial Dash in sharp fashion by four or five at the end. Three to one second choice. I've been falling off a lot. Draws off the score by four and a half lengths over 14 to one. Rocking on by who has a neck on odds on favorite XY Jet. Calvin Burrell aboard in 110 flat. The first graded stakes victory for I've been falling off a lot who is undefeated in four starts this season. The five-year-old Geldy by Valid Expectations was bred in Texas by Eileen Hardis. The veteran's printer was claimed by trainer W.T. Howard on behalf of Lewis Matthews Jr. for $25,000 in March 2014. Ivan Fallenavalot has a bankroll of $800,000. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Eclipse Award-winning champion Blaine retired to stud with over $4.3 million in earnings, including a historic victory over Zenyatta in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Now Blaine is the leading sire of his crop by graded stakes horses and ranked number one in the sales ring with yearlings bringing up to 600000 Top runners this year include track record setter Onus, grade one placed going for broke, stakes winners Sweet Victory and Exaggerated, and three-time stakes victorious Queen Caroline. Blaine at Claiborne Farm. Castleton Farm has a long and distinguished history as one of America's great horse farms, having reared multiple champions over the years. Situated on 1,100 acres, some of the finest bluegrass Kentucky has to offer, with 15 barns, including an isolation farm, providing full-service boarding. Castleton has a depth of professional experience coupled with passion for the thoroughbred horse and is dedicated to providing the most professional boarding experience possible in the thoroughbred industry. Kentucky's premier thoroughbred boarding, Castleton. And now, a Florida thoroughbred history moment. In 1956, a small, feisty horse from Florida named Needles and his owners Jack Dudley and Bonnie Heath shocked the racing world, winning the Kentucky Derby. Needles proved that champions with modest pedigrees could be grown in the Sunshine State, thanks to the limestone-rich soil and spring water. His wild acclaim created the horse capital of the world that we know today. This has been a Florida thoroughbred history moment. Some horses are so brilliant that you have to share them with the world. He's the most dominant colt in Australia. He absolutely scintillating the way he ate up his rivals here today. And Vancouver draws away. Vancouver wins the slipper. Physically, I was just blown away by him. I went, let's do this. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with Turf Phillies and Mares coming up in this segment. 
We begin with turf milers at Aqueduct in the Artie Schiller Stakes. Heart to heart, the two to one favorite, Johnny Brielle has the call. Half mile, 47 and four fifth seconds. And it is the favorite, Heart to Heart, who leads the field around the far turn. King Creesa is second. It's Heart to Heart in front here, and now getting away to lead by two. King Creesa dropping back in between horses down on the inside is McKagan. And on the outside, it's Iron Power as the field comes into the stretch. Heart to Heart is challenged here by McKagan, and here's Carafa on the outside. So it's McKagan. Heart to Heart and Carafa and Knight Prowler's putting in a late run as they move for the 16th pole. It is McKagan. McKagan, the son of Artie Schiller, trying to win the Artie Schiller. It's McKagan, and he's done it at 34 to 1. Long shot McKagan by Windstar Farm Stag and Artie Schiller, the winner by three quarters of a length over black type. Kendrick Carmouche aboard the New York bread in 136 and 3. Third against state breads at the off the turf Mohawk Stakes at Belmont Park, McKagan making his second start for Hall of Fame trainer Bill Mott. The five year old gelding was bred in New York by his owner Trinity Farm. McKagan has earned $462,000. Darby Dan Farm Stallion dialed in is the leading freshman sire. Sire of multiple graded stakes winner Gunavera, dominant winner of the $1 million Delta Downs Jackpot Stakes. Dialed in will stand for $15,000, stands in nurses in 2017. Turf fillies and mares at Churchill Downs in the grade three Cardinal handicap. Cash control the five to two favorite, Travis Stone has the call. Belle de Nui continues to share the lead with Lots of Lex. Lots of Lex on the outside now takes the initiative on, opens up half a length. Belle de Nui second, five lengths back. Cash Controls waiting back in third. The Teacups follows that one from fourth. A moment given more rain toward the inside fifth. Bitty Kitty far outside sixth. Kittens Roar is seventh and only eight lengths off the lead. Complete Street starting to lose some ground. Real Smart's going to try and come inside at the steady just a bit there. Christie's Ready is winding up from the back with Salama. Heath still trails round the far turn. Lots of Lex is still the leader. Cash Control hovers on the outside in second. Here comes Cash Control putting in a bid right outside the quarter pole. Belden Wee's back into third. Then it's the Teacups Racing fourth, top of the stretch, Cash Control draws alongside, and now Cash Control takes charge, tries to open up on Lots of Lex, who fights on toward the rail. Farther back, the Teacups, Biddy Kitty, far outside, Kittens Roar late in the scene, and Salama, 16th to go. Cash Control has kicked away, opening up by four, now by five, Cash Control decisively in the Cardinal Handicap. Final margin right about four. Favored cash control by Windstar Farm Stallion Pioneer of the Nile, the winner by four links of her late charging kitten's roar. Sean Bridgman up in 149 and one. Winner of the grade three men julep stakes over the course in June, the Brad Cox trainee was coming off a sixth place finish in the grade one first lady stakes at Keeneland. The five-year-old mare was bred in Kentucky by Burt, Elaine, and Richard Klein. Cash control has earned nearly $492,000 for Richard and Bertram Klein. Spendthrift Farm Stallion Golden Sense, three and two time Breeders' Cup champion and the best son of Indo Mischief. Golden Sense earned over $3 million during his illustrious racing career. His first foals are yearlings of 2017. Golden Sense will stand for $15,000, stands and nurses. Court's coming fast. Hampton Court hit the lead, ran away and won it beat Duccio. Hampton Court is starting to gobble them up on the outside though. Hampton Court's hit the front with 100 metres to go and Hampton Court's run away and beaten first sale and swing it.
now a Florida thoroughbred history moment. Founded in 1956, Ocala Stud is the oldest active thoroughbred farm in Florida and a pioneer in the thoroughbred industry. The landmark Ocala Stud's message is simply put, if you want a runner, look to Ocala Stud. Ocala Stud revolutionized the worldwide industry, creating two-year-old in training sales. Now represented by the third generation of the O'Farrell family, the farm's reputation as a top producer of thoroughbreds makes them a symbol of excellence. This has been a Florida Thoroughbred History Moment. A Florida bred. He is not just a racehorse. He is our heart. He is our toil and sweat. He soaks up the bright sunshine, becoming mighty and strong. He feasts on our abundant grass and drinks our mineral-rich water. He is a way of life, our champion. His excellence brings us chills as he competes, inspiring us to greatness. He is our purpose, our soul. He is a Florida bred. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the latest juvenile stakes winner for Bob Baffert coming up in this segment. Two-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. Two-year-old fillies at Woodbine in the glorious song stakes. Let it ride, Mom, the 9 to 10 favorite, Robert Geller has the call. They race inside the 516th, up second, Kodiak Gal. On the outside, Boathouse View, followed by Dilly Dally Darby. On the rails is still Just Be Kind, and now Let It Ride Mom is about six wide. The crack, the center, then Zero Z, top of the lane. And it's heard that Kodiak Gal, Let It Ride Mom, plunging home on the outside. And Let It Ride Mom, with a withering burst, has raced to the front. Let It Ride Mom, clearing out, now flying Sister Nation. It's not over yet, but Let It Ride Mom got a break. And Sister Nation just too late. Let it ride, Mom, first. Odds on favorite Let It Ride Mom holds off 21 to 1 Sister Nation by half a length as Phillies by Spencer Farmstag and Into Mischief finish 1 2. Rafael Hernandez aboard the winner in 1 22 and 3. A first out maiden winner at Woodbine, the Mark Cassie trainee was second by a neck in the Ontario Debutante Stakes and was runner up by a head in the Grade 3 Mazarine Stakes. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Tim Thornton, Robert Watt, and Doug Glass. A $77,000 Keeneland September yearling turned $375,000 OBS March two-year-old. Let It Ride Mom has earned $123,000 for Live Oak Plantation. Rafael Hernandez with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Fans, the safest way to the winner's circle. To Delta Downs for the Grade 3 Princess Stakes, Golden Mischief, winner of the local prep, the My Trusty Cat Stakes, the 5-2 to two favorite. Don Stevens has the call. And they're off in the Delta Downs Princess. Coming away fast was Flatter Up right in the middle, showing speed early as well as Shane's girlfriend. Dude Fantasy is placed way on the outside. Then comes Cajun Delta Dawn. They're now on to the main track. Flatter Up and C.J. McMahon going to set the early pace here. As Shane's girlfriend just to the outside is second, Caroline Tess right behind the leaders in third. Then comes Cajun Delta Dawn fourth, four circle is fifth. Dude Fantasy on the outside is sixth, followed by San Antonio Stroll and Chanel's Legacy. The very back of the pack is Jilly, and the trailer is Golden Mischief as they go into the first turn. They went a quarter mile in 23.06. They're racing to the back stretch. It's Flatter Up and C.J. McMahon controlling the pace here by about two lengths as they head to the back stretch. Shane's girlfriend presses up to take over second all by herself. Caroline Test is down along the inside in third. The opening half went in 47-16. Up and on the outside is Cajun Delta Dawn. It's two and a half lengths back to Dude Fantasy running right next to Forrest Circle. Then comes Chanel's Legacy on the far outside. She's got a clear shot, but she'll be wide. Then comes San Antonio Stroll. Golden Mischief is starting to move up, but she's still ten lengths behind. And it's five more lengths back to Jilly, who is the trailer. They're coming for home now. Three quarters, 111.71, and there goes Shane's girlfriend. Shane's girlfriend opening up on this field. Flatter up, drops back, then Cajun Delta Dawn, and for a circle, but they're into the stretch. Shane's girlfriend is just pouring it on through the stretch. What an impressive performance under Flavian Pratt. It's Shane's girlfriend to demolish this field in the Delta Downs Princess. Three to one second choice Shane's girlfriend draws off to defeat Cajun Delta Don by a widening 13 and a quarter lengths. Flavian Pratt aboard the Florida Bread and stakes record 137 and 4. 
Doug O'Neill trainee making an impressive stakes debut after breaking her maiden by five and three quarter lengths in her first start at Santa Anita. A $95,000 OBS June two-year-old, Shane's girlfriend has earned $271,000 for ERJ Racing, WC Racing, and Dennis O'Neill. The filly by Adios Charlie was bred in Florida by Ocala Stud. Florida brads, race him or chase him. To Del Mar for two-year-old Colts and Geldings in the Grade Three Bob Hope Stakes, mastery the one to five favorite. Trevor Denman has the call. And uh, away they go. All broke smoothly. And settle down for a leader here. It is Mastery in the gold cap showing early speed. Burn and Sensation comes through along the inside. And California Diamond to close up third. Here's Ann Arboretti in the fourth spot. Only two and a half off the leaders. And Upa Walla contend to trail early. They run to the 5 8 pole, the favourite Mastery in front by a neck along the inside, burning sensation. Ann Arbor Eddy is right there in the white colours in third, and on the far side, California Diamond just being patiently ridden, and then it's another two and a half back to Upa Walla. They run towards the 3 8 pole, and Mastery on the far side now kicks for home. Mastery tries to open up on them. On the inside, burning sensation. Between runners Ann Arbor ready, California Diamond moves into contention on the far side. The trailer Upawala. A quarter of a mile to go and Mastery is in front just over a length. California Diamond now comes to make a race of it on the outside. Upo Waller and Ann Arbor Eddy getting involved as well. They come for home. Mastery is still the leader and sent for home. On the outside, California Diamond down at the rail. Ann Arbor Eddy. Mastery being very confidently ridden out here though. And Mike Smith just nursed Mastery home to another impressive win. Handwritten. Odds on favorite Mastery, an easy winner by a length and a quarter over California Diamond. Mike Smith aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 123 and 1. The latest and impressive two year old stakes winner for Bob Baffert, Mastery was coming off a four and a half length maiden victory on debut at Santa Anita. The Colt by Candy Ride was bred in Kentucky by Stone Farm. It was a $425,000 Keeneland September yearling. Mastery has earned $91,000 for Cheyenne Stable. Mastery paid two sixty dollars to win and is the Malone's favorite of the week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's favorite steakhouse. Coming up, a last to first winner of the Delta Jackpot. Mama Joyce to kick off the early pick four with an easy win. It's First Heritage in front. First Heritage begins to edge away. Stick Stately Dude gets there and pulls away in the end. But here's Floridora on the outside, and it's the New York invader, Floridora, to win it. Since Florida's first Kentucky Derby winner, Needles, in 1956, Florida has produced 50 national champions, the 11th Triple Crown winner, 13 classic winners, 155 millionaires, memorable performances, and 26 Breeders' Cup winners. Produce your next champion in Florida. Now a Florida thoroughbred history moment. Founded in 1956, Ocala Stud is the oldest active thoroughbred farm in Florida and a pioneer in the thoroughbred industry. The landmark Ocala Stud's message is simply put, if you want a runner, look to Ocala Stud. Ocala Stud revolutionized the worldwide industry, creating two-year-old in training sales. Now represented by the third generation of the O'Farrell family, the farm's reputation as a top producer of thoroughbreds makes them a symbol of excellence. This has been a Florida thoroughbred history moment. The Windstar Farm Star Breeders of the Month are Stephen and Brandy Nicholson. Stephen and Brandy are the breeders of Classic Empire. The son of Pioneer the Nile impressively captured the Grade 1 Breeders Fraternity last month at Keeneland, making him a leading contender in the upcoming $2 million Breeders Cup Junior. The lead and Classic Empire, the favorite, has the lead by three lengths. Classic Empire wins it in style. Thank you, Stephen and Brandy. You make the dream possible. The world's top races. The world's top horses. 
share the sign of success of the world's preeminent sales company, Keeneland. From the Triple Crown to Royal Ascot to the Breeders' Cup. Year after year, success on the world's biggest stages begins at Keeneland. Time now for the feature race of the week presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. It's the grade three million dollar Delta Downs jackpot for two year olds. Gunavera, the five to two favorite. Here's the call by Don Stevens. And they're off in the Delta Downs jackpot. Line judge got a great break on the inside. J Boy's Echo is showing some speed from the outside. Tip tap tapazar is up close to him. Also there is Ballandine running right next to Hot Sean as they step onto the main track. Our Storm and Norman now moves forward as they've left the chute. It's our Storm and Norman on the inside. Hot Sean racing in second. J-Boys Echo third. Tip Tap Tapazar to the outside. A very close fourth. From there, it's Ballandine being followed by Thirst for Life. Line judges drop back in the field. Then comes Dangerfield. Pat on the back is second last. And your early trailer is Gunavera. The opening quarter went in 23-18, and they're racing to the back stretch. It's our Storm and Norman by just ahead over Hot Sean, who's reserved in that second spot. Tip Tap Tapazar is on the far outside. Then it's J Boys Echo between rivals, and Thirst for Life was down on the inside. The front five separated by only two lengths. Then comes Line Judge, and it's three lengths back from there to Pat on the back, being followed by Dangerfield midway up the back stretch. And still at the back here is Gunavera, the half in 4705. They press on to the far turn. It's our Storm and Norman on the inside. Hot Sean, who's just off the rail. Down along the inside here is Ballandine, who's crying out for racing room. Tip Tap Tapazar is up close. They're starting to bend for home. A big move coming from the back now from Gunavera. Three quarters win and 112.52. Hot Sean is starting to take off, giving out his our Storm and Norman. But here is Gunavera on the far outside to engage for the lead. It's Gunavera and Castellano strike the front in the stretch on the inside hot Sean cannot fight back anymore ducking in is Gunavera but Gunavera is going to score a huge win in the Delta Downs jackpot last in the early going race favorite Gunavera by Darby Dan Stallion dialed in rallies to defeat hot Sean by five and three quarter lengths Dangerfield third for a sweep by Keeneland Sells graduates Javier Castellano aboard in 145 flat the Grade 2 Saratoga Special Stakes winner was last seen finishing fifth when Breeders' Cup Juvenile Champion Classic Empire captured the Grade 1 Claiborne Breeders' Futurity. The Colt was bred in Kentucky by Brandywine Farm and Stephen Upchurch. Gunavera has earned $771,000 for Peacock Racing Stables. The jackpot winner is trained by Antonio Sano, a 19-time leading trainer in Venezuela. The Delta jackpot winner was consigned by Brandywine Farm to the 2013 Keenan September yearling sale where the Colt was purchased by Sano for $16,000. Grade 3 Delta Downs jackpot winner Gunavera, the Keenan sales graduate of the week. We'll have the Grade 1 Car Handicap, the Grade 1 Cigar Mile, along with Graded Stakes Action for T-Rolls next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week is presented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association and the Florida Department of Agriculture. Online at tbreadweek.com.